Welcome to Coffee with Viking. I am Mike, also known as the Viking. Cheers. In today's devotion, God is holy and righteous. 1 John 1 5. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. From Genesis to Revelation, God reveals himself as a holy God. He is utterly perfect and absolutely and absolutely in every detail. He is too holy to tolerate sinful man, which is why when Jesus was on the cross taking the punishment for all of our sin, God had to look away from him because he could not bear to see all that sin. Too holy to endure sinful living. If we could envision the true picture of his righteousness, what a difference it would make in the way we live as individuals and as nations. If we could... If we could but realize the tremendous gulf that separates unrighteous men from God's perfect righteousness, the scriptures declare him to be the light in whom there is no darkness at all, the one supreme being without flaw or blemish. Here again is a difficult concept for imperfect man to understand, we can scarcely imagine the overwhelming holiness of God, but we must recognize it if we are to understand and benefit from the Bible. Man is a sinner, powerless to change his position unless he cries out for mercy sincerely. But because the God we worship is a pure God, a holy God, a just and righteous God, he sent us his only begotten son to make it possible for us to have access to him. The darkness that we all have inside us is what separates us from God, and it started in the garden when Adam and Eve ate from the fruit of the tree that they were told not to touch but they still ate and were kicked out and ever since then man has been living in his wickedness And the way we used to make amends for those was to sacrifice animals. But they were not a perfect sacrifice. That is why God took part of himself, rolled it in the flesh, and sent it down here to be the perfect sacrifice to cover our sins and that perfect sacrifice was Jesus so when we cry out to Jesus and repent to him that is what brings us back to God the question I have for you is have you cried out to Jesus yet have you sought forgiveness and repented because I know that time is getting shorter with the way this world is getting now prophecies are starting to be fulfilled so if you haven't yet came to Christ I highly recommend it but it is a choice. It cannot be forced upon you, and I would never force it on anyone. The 
reason for this channel is to share the Word of God and let you make that choice for yourself. As God did when he sent down Jesus to be the perfect sacrifice for your sin. I love you all. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And I hope that while there is still time, you all make the right choice, but it is a choice that you can only make yourself. Much love.